Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror rate event for Sceptile is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video we're going to go through all of the details of this raid as well as the fastest way to farm for Herba Mystica while this raid is running over this weekend. So the 7 star terror rate event for Sceptile is now running in Scarlet and Violet over this weekend. It will be running from the 28th of June until the 30th. And it will be this first phase where Sceptile will be making its debut as a Mightiest Mark Pokemon. Now the Sceptile is going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability on Burden, but that's not going to play any role in the raid. It doesn't have a held item. The moves that it does have access to are going to be Leaf Blade, Breaking Swipe, Dragon Dance, Thunder Punch, Leaf Storm and Earthquake. It will have the Mightiest Mark, can never be shiny and it will have that Dragon Terror typing with a hasty nature obviously can only be caught once per save file we'll go down and take a look at the item drops as usual with a seven star terror raid you're going to get a higher rate of large xl candies you're going to get carbos as the vitamin drop as well as dragon terror shards ability patches and the tm breaking swipe and again you're going to have the drops for all five herba mystica so there will be a three percent chance of any one of those dropping you can get multiples every time you beat this raid so a very good one to farm over the weekend to get that, that very rare and difficult to get item but like i say running over this first weekend from today as of recording this video on the 28th of june until the 30th so the raid that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be yes once again annihilate going to be another terror raid that this thing is going to be able to run through very quickly and one that everyone has access to in the base game so going to have that ghost terror typing the shell bell as the held item level 100 and hyper trained the move set is going to be taunt focus energy bulk up and rage fist the most important thing is the ability which is its hidden ability defiant and an EV spread of 252 EVs in attack and in defense, with the remaining EVs put into HP with an impish nature, boosting that defense stat and lowering that special attack stat. As always, the raid build will be down in the description below. We'll jump into the raid now. I'll show you how quickly you can run through this to farm for those all-important Herba Mysticas while this event is running over the weekend. So when you first come into the raid against the 7-star Sceptile, you're going to have a turn 0 where the Sceptile is going to launch out one of those Leaf Storms. It is a special type attack, but it will be into one of the random targets on our side of the field. It doesn't necessarily always go into us. If it doesn't, that's a huge bonus. You can see here it is fighting the Heracross. Just means it's a little bit easier for us to deal with going forward. Turn one, we're going to lock in with the taunt. That is going to prevent the Sceptile going for any of those dragon dances as we go deeper into the raid. Then turn two, we are going to lock in with a focus energy. Now, the thing with focus energy is it does give us an increased chance to land critical hits. That's going to play a big part in the raid. And if you do land any critical hits later on in the raid, it will speed things up massively. Turn three, we're going to lock in with a bulk up. This is going to boost our attack and a defense by one stage. And just mean that we're going to be able to take those attacks from the Sceptile a lot easier. If you do have a partnering Pokemon with Intimidate, it does make things a lot easier in the raid. Now turn four, we're going to lock in with a Rage Fist and just do some damage and activate that Shell Bell as well, just to recover some health lost in this initial setup that we've been doing so far in the raid. Now we're kind of waiting for a couple of points here. We're going to take uh, attacks from the Sceptile. It will use a combination of things like Leaf Blade. It will use things like a combination of Breaking Swipe as well. And if it does go for the Breaking Swipe, that's going to boost your attack even further. Like we're seeing here, it will lower our attack by one stage, but it will activate our Defiant ability and in fact give us a plus one to our attack in place. So essentially really making us a lot stronger hit a lot harder going forward in the raid so we're just locking in with that rage fist the last turn here and we're kind of waiting on the shield going up at this stage it is going to lock in with another breaking swipe here so going to give us another attack boost but these are going to be taken away very soon because it is going to nullify our stats and abilities on our side of the field which it only does once per raid and as you can see coming up right now but the thing is we need to really start chasing down our terrestrialization counter and it's harder to do here because it does steal our Terra Orb damage. But after it has nullified our stats uh, on our side of the field, we want to get three bulk ups off. So you're going to want to go for bulk up, bulk up, bulk up. That gives us plus three defense. It's going to mean that we're able to take these attacks from the Sceptile a lot easier going forward. If it goes for these breaking swipes in the interim, that's just a bonus because it's given us an extra attack boost that we wouldn't have normally had. But we're going to go for that second bulk up now. 
and then one more bulk up after that we do see the shield getting set up from the septile now but that's nothing to worry about this is just normal the raid timer in a very healthy place and we are going to go for that second bulk up in this phase so we see a dragon dance coming out from the septile not going to be able to prevent it now with the taunts because the shield goes up taunt not affected by that shield but we should be in a pretty comfortable place if you're in a similar place to we are right now and your hp is pretty low just lock in with those rage fists because you want to try and get some recovery back before you do trastalize the big worry is with these leaf blades is that they can land critical hits and that can be a bit of a detriment to you throughout the raid but we'll go for that third and final uh, bulk up there and then we're going to launch off those rage fists here because we want to try and get some of this lost health back at this stage you can see the septile is maxed out in its attack and its defense at this stage so land a critical hit here that would be pretty huge for us and then we're gonna lock in with one more rage fist as we see another break and swipe come out from the septile again this will activate our define ability and then we're going to be at this stage where we can terrestrialize the next turn hopefully we land another critical hit here that would be very useful for covering that health and just put us in a nice position going forward in the raid but like you can see it's going to be very quick after we can terrestrialize because our damage is going to be so much more improved going forward and we are going to be at that stage now and we'll lock in with the rage fist once again and we're going to be in that place where after this point we are just clicking that rage fist button and it's going to be very quick before that septile drops but um hopefully at this stage we are going to be in that position where we're going to be able to take an attack from the septile i think that's the only worry at this stage if you've got an intimidate user on your side of the field it does make things a lot lot easier so that's something to kind of keep an eye out for when you're in the raid have an intimidate user to kind of keep that septile in check but otherwise like this you kind of have to hope it locks in with those breaking swipes so when coming into the raid with annihilate the one thing you really want to try and identify a lot more than anything else is having that intimidate user next to you now you can see critical hit landing there focus energy so useful um we are going to be probably able if we get another critical hit this next turn to pick up the knockout and then clear the septile very quickly and you can do it quicker than this uh if you have got that intimidate user but normally it will be around this time but this is a very quick way to run through the septile and in particularly farm for those herba mysticas over the weekend because it's just such a consistent way to be able to do it and a lot faster than the clefable and a lot of the other options that you're seeing out there as well as the annihilate something that you've already already got built in game you're just gonna have to tweak those evs tweak that nature and then you'll be able to come in and have an absolute great time just farming the herba mystica which are pretty hard to get we do get one salty there but the time it takes to go through the raid it's just over five and a half minutes you're not going to have any troubles just running through this raid over and over and over again there is a little bit of rng involved but that's the case with all seven star raids and of course you want to get one seven star raid on your map at a time if you want to get another one up then you open your map hit your home menu then come down into system settings then down into system then into date and time make sure your synchronized clock by the internet is set to off just toggle through the date and time options and then come back into game and you'll see all your dens respawn in the area it'll respawn the seven star terror raid for septile you can find it on your map and then you just want to head over to it and then just repeat the process that we've done here using the method that we've done to farm through very quickly so if you've enjoyed today's video please drop a like do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and if you've got a good build that you've been using to farm through the seven star step tile while it's running over this weekend do share it down below in the comment section to help the community in a whole to make running and farming through this event easy as possible hope you've enjoyed today's video friends thank you so much for tuning in i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in another video very soon since then take care of yourselves and bye bye